Right, sit down. Of course, you're going to start drawing when Victoria and Nathan are behind you. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now, this is so wrong. And weird. I think they don't know if he's doing it for a good cause or a bad cause. Oh, and there comes Warren. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has... Especially because I missed her call. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. Let's draw. She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student hmm. or a friend. I'm sure problem. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Damn it. I can't see it there. <laughs> Is it too late to rewind? Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves <laughs> for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls. Oh, it's gonna be me. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Oh no, what's happening? No, can't wait to enter, right? Jesus. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Giro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. We're going to be shouted out. Photography, such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in mind. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. I, I have to do something to help her. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. She's frozen in time. Can I make it? Can I make it in time? Go to the roof. Come on. You can make it, Max. Um, she's still frozen in time. Oh no, there we go. Go on then, shout her name. Uh, what are 
are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me! I will jump! Don't jump, don't jump. Okay, okay. Don't jump. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? Oh, come on. Where it was in silent mode and I didn't see it or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. There is no everybody. There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I'm gathering proof. I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You well, soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have. Yeah, but you sure about that though? That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with Just me. Don't jump! Don't jump! Please. Just don't jump! You don't have to do this, Max. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like, like my video. video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really? You can never surrender. I never give up. Miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yay. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your mother. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No. Stand close. Kate, please stop. Listen, this isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. You sure about that? Uh, I, I read the Bible, so I'm just guessing one Come of them. To me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Just don't fall backwards. Thank. I'm sorry. <sighs> I thought she was gonna jump. I really thought what that. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. 
I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. seriously. I take the well-being of every student. I said it's Nathan Prescott. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Actually, I'm going to go with Mr. Jefferson. I think there's Mr. something going on between them two. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Nathan Doster. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising and- Oh dear. You shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Okay. Killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Now I'm going to sign a statement. I'm going to blame Mr. Jefferson. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank okay. you for coming in. I don't think there's something fishy between Nathan and Mr. Jefferson. I think David's on the borderline. I think he's trying, but he's making it worse. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion. Oh, it's on to Warren. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously. He's trying to make a move. I'm trying. I'm sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try she to did kill herself. Try to kill herself. That's true. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it. Just one. And a half times. Wow. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. Well, I don't think Madsen is straight-up dickhead. I mean, he's just trying to help, but he's just 
bad at doing it. What the hell is this? Since it's in the army as well. The weather confirms this weird day. There shouldn't be a clip. I feel that too. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. Shouldn't really get a eclipse out of nowhere. And it's freezing. Oh, he's making a move. Making a move. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I bet he definitely loves Max. But I think Max likes Chloe. And Chloe likes Max. That's my theory. Don't tell me you retired from security. Well, I tried. I saved your job, mate. I think Mr. Jefferson's have got sacks. I mean, Principal Wells, even though they're funded by Nathan Prescott's family and he has to follow them, I think he does know that they're really bad and they're awful. I think Nathan Prescott's happy, but I don't know why. And there's Frank with his dog. She's in hospital or a care home. See, this is not bright. That's not bright. I mean, no, she's been drugged, definitely. But we'll have to wear that out. With Chloe. And she's smoking on it. See, where is this? Where I've never seen it in school. And there's Kate. Bitch was taken. Hmm. Episode two out of time. So that was episode two. So let's see what did. You told Kate to wait for more proof. Sixty six percent did it. Okay. You didn't answer Kate's call. That was a 22%. Wow. Seven Jay answered the call. You tried to shoot Frank. 55% did. I was the one who didn't. So that was 45. You saved Kate's life. 55. You couldn't save Kate's life. Wow. You blamed David. You blamed Nathan. You blamed Mr. Oh, wow. It was 15%. Wow. You altered the plant. 63%. You helped Alyssa. Yeah. You erased the link to Kate's video. I did. 93%. You weren't friendly with Taylor. 61%. Well, I tried to be. You rejected Warren's invitation. I was only 20% of it. You didn't write a message. You wrote a message. Okay. You didn't tamper with the rail track since 9% didn't. You gained entry to the Fortis Club party. I didn't. You helped Warren, yes. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Yes. That was it. So that was episode two done. Three more to go, I believe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let's finish it so we can get this over and done with. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe.